you get me. What's good everybody, it's your boy Lario. Thank you for joining me, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about beat arrangement. I'm gonna be covering everything from breaking tracks down individually to arranging your beats to be more dynamic and make them more appealing to rappers, singers, and artists. Before we get into this, I wanna give a huge shout out to my sponsor, DistroKid. Check out this quick little video. Real quick, I wanna talk about Hyperfollow by DistroKid. Hyperfollow is a completely free and awesomely powerful promotional tool for anyone using DistroKid. It's the one-stop shop for all the links to streaming services and stores for your DistroKid release. Today, it's really a must-have one link that leads to your music and all streaming services. The instant you finish uploading it DistroKid, you can start marketing your release and collecting pre-saves on Spotify, including fan email addresses with Hyperfollow. You can also customize your Hyperfollow page to include your social media pages. As soon as your release goes live on its release date, your Hyperfollow page will automatically update to include your links to all the streaming services and the stores. You're able to edit your Hyperfollow page to include links to Bandcamp, videos, etc. Your Hyperfollow link never changes, and you'll never have to update your marketing copy or social media posts. You can find your hyperfollow link on your DistroKid album page. This is a simple tool that all artists should be using. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so I have this beat that I made. It's just an eight bar loop. We can give it a listen and then we can break it down, structure it, arrange it, and I'll show you some cool little tricks. I already have the melodies in the 808 separated here, but let's go to the drums and you can see they're all in the same pattern. Now let's go up to where it says pattern five and an easy way, if you don't know, split by channel. It's gonna separate everything into its own individual pattern. You can see over here, you can also just click and drag these guys down. You could delete that group, highlight this group and hit control B, copy and paste that over. Now everything is separated into its own individual patterns. One of the things that I like to do right away is to just duplicate the whole loop, maybe a couple of more times. And then what I like to do is just start taking things away. I'll listen to everything pretty much solo. That might be too bare for an intro. I think I like that as an intro, so I'm just gonna delete that middle pattern. I know I'm not gonna have the 808s or any of these drums, maybe the hi-hats and the claps. So I have two different hi-hat patterns here too. So let me move that up. By the way, if you didn't know how I can move these up right here, all you gotta do is hold the shift button and scroll your mouse wheel. You can arrange everything in the playlist a lot quicker. I need to kind of build it up into that hook or whatever that drop is. Whether that's a hook that you drop into or a verse, it sounds like it needs some sort of buildup. So this is where I start adding some audio effects, some uplifters, some reverse symbols, things like that that can accentuate the buildup and anticipation into another section and transition it well. So I like to go through some sounds. Like that might be cool. Sounds cool. Let's kill some of the highs and lows and then maybe stop it on that last clap i want some sort of impact sound so let's see what we got maybe a shout i like that that'll be for the downbeat right there now i still need some sort of impact for that clap where that riser stops it could just be a clap with a lot of reverb so sometimes what i like to do is just find a clap throw it right there where we want it, send it to the mixer, put a reverb directly on that channel, turn the dry down, the wet up, decay up, maybe an EQ after the reverb. Yeah, I think it needs something else too, maybe a reverse symbol. You can use any symbol. And then maybe this crash on the one because it's kind of long. Uh, turn the volume way down. I want it to sound a little bit brighter when the beat drops. So maybe I'm going to take that piano out. I like it. Maybe throw this hi-hat in. Mm -hmm. 
and stop the hi-hat right on that impact. Yeah, that's way better. And then from there, I think that's going to be my hook. And then eight bars in, I'm going to kind of break it down into a verse. And this is going to be a lot quicker from here because we already have our transitional effects and our sweeps and upfills and risers and crashes and all that stuff. So from here, we can kind of just copy and paste. And it's just it's really quick from here on out. This would be like sort of a pre-hook, kind of break it down before it ramps back up into that hook where it sounds nice and full and all the sounds come back in. So from here we can kind of copy and paste this whole section over and then maybe add some more of these filler type effects right before that hook drop. So this is the last few bars of that verse going into the hook and I'm kind of calling this the pre-hook but it's the end of the verse. And then from there, the verse repeats itself again. If you want to make any other changes, you can do so. Feel free to get creative. You don't have to create a different structure on the second verse, but I like to sometimes to switch things up a little bit. Sometimes I'll drop the drums out. Maybe we'll drop the 808s and the hi-hats out in the first four bars of that, that first verse. All right, so something that I really stumbled on by mistake one day is multiple arrangements. So what I mean by multiple arrangements, you don't have to create a brand new session in order to create multiple arrangements and this goes for you know if you have a full song and you're trying to make a clean version without the swears in it if you go to the top of the piano roll where it says arrangement click that drop down menu and if you want to clone this one and kind of tweak it from there you can hit clone or you can hit add one so it's going to create a complete blank session you're still going to have all of the same individual uh, mixer tracks everything else about the session is the exact same thing in the channel rack, all the melodies are the same. You're just going to have a blank playlist. If you want to go back to that original arrangement, click Arrangement. And if you want to just tweak this from here on out, you could do so. Hit Clone. Just call it Arrangement 2, like, like it says there. Now, we can tweak this arrangement. Let's, let's just mess with it. All right, we have a different structure now. In this Arrangement number 2, you can see this is our arrangement. If we go back to Arrangement number 1, it goes right back to that original arrangement, saves it. So if you need to make any changes, you can make them here. Just be sure if you want to export these two different arrangements, you can't do them at the same exact time. So you're going to have to click on arrangement one, export, export it out, go back into the session arrangement number two and export that one out as well. That's going to wrap it up for this one. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below and make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.